Good evening, good evening everybody. Just waiting for my OBS to settle down. I'm getting the right traffic lights of uh, amber, red and green signals coming through. So I'm just going to wait for that to settle down. A few dropped frames. Hopefully it's going to settle down after a while. I suspect it's probably as I've just literally loaded up uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, good evening Zivity, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How has your Monday been? Hope all has been well. Right, we're still looking a little red on the drop frames front. Just going to wait for that to settle down. Maybe it's my internet. Maybe it's TSM in the background doing an update. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad performance wise. Kilobits per second seems quite good. So I'll keep an eye on that. See if it will settle down. Let's do a wave. Hey, hey, Danny, Danny H. Well, I keep forgetting uh, you've changed your name. How are you, Danny? I hope your uh, Monday has been good. Apologies if my stream is stuttering. It does seem to have gone green for the moment now, so maybe things have settled down. So let's go have a look at our expires, which I'm expecting to have quite a few. I did manage to put some of them on a minute ago before the stream, so I'm just going to take the rest of the expires and post those on. Very good, excellent, good to hear. So let's get all of these off all these expires and then we're going to have to repost them on. I think a reload is probably going to be useful at this stage. So let's reload that, see if the stream gets uh, any better in the background. It does seem to be fluctuating a fair amount. The um, CPU usage seems okay. And the frames per second seems okay. Not in game though, that seems to fluctuate a little bit. Well, hopefully it'll settle down whilst I get everything sorted. I we'll should wait for everything to come through first. I might wait actually rather than do a reload on that lot. Oh, we've probably got a full bag. Yes, we have. Okay, so let's go do that. Let's do a post scan. There we go. Right, so kind of things we've got on today is reposting everything as normal, restocking everything. Now, the interesting thing is um, we are out of stonehide leather on earthen so no more cheap materials for Laylight and arcana so we're going to have to think of backup plans backup plan b being shalder eye silk we'll have to check the price on shalder eye silk looks good now excellent good to hear uh, danny it's still red on my obs which is a little bit worrying um, but we'll just keep an eye on it and see how it settles down Oh, thank you, um, Varian. There we go. Right, so we're going to do a post on everything. Yeah, my kilobits per second's gone right down to 500 there. There's definitely something not working. As good as it normally does. Failing this, if the stream actually does stutter, then I'll have to uh, maybe do a reboot of the modem, but we'll keep it going for now and um, hold on and hope things settle down. It could be as simple as a TSM update in the background or maybe even Windows. Post everything up first. Go through that. 
confirm these 95. Right, okay, so next. I'm currently at 926,000 gold, which is pretty nice. Pretty happy with that amount at the moment. Mouse isn't working so well. There we go. Ah, you joined the ranks of TSM4 users. You went premium. Excellent. Congratulations, Danny. How are you finding it? Are you enjoying it? Um, was it... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Ah, good evening, Bullsey. How are you? How did you find um, the, the transition from TSM3 to 4? It's been a long time since I've done it myself. Um, so... I can't remember what it was like, and I was fairly new to um, TSM at the time. Much better on the load up compared to three. Excellent, that's good to hear. Um, just make sure you keep um, deleting your cache folder because that does seem to be a bit of a problem at the moment. I tend to find that if I delete it before each World of Warcraft session, it tends to behave better that way. Hey, Mike Flanny, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How's your Monday been? Hope it's been well. Yeah, every couple of days is a good idea just to um, give it a bit of a, a reboost. All right, let's clear up these ones. Ah, good evening, Trex. How are you? Right, on to the sales. Oh, some more sales coming in after this, after the mailbox refresh, I expect. So what I'm going to do is just post these and then come back to the mailbox. So I'll run a post scan on these. Hey Costa, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How's your Monday been? Has your new graphics card arrived yet? Do let me know everyone if the stream is lagging because my OBS is not saying happy things to me at the moment. Um, so it might be a, a Taiwanese. <laughs> I got the gist of it though. Uh, yes, my OBS is um, telling me I've got lots of drop frames. So I'm hoping that uh, the stream is actually okay. I still got the low latency mode on. Ah, oh, you have to go pick it up. Excellent. It's got a lot of rendering, is it? Okay. I'm not sure whether this is going to resolve itself because it seems to keep on uh, fluctuating. I might have to do a little speed test or something because my FPS is pretty low now. So I'm not sure if it's a graphics card thing or Windows update thing or something in the background that's killing my network. Potentially, oh, it's green at the moment. We we'll just have to have a look. Let's have a look at my. Um, hold on, let me just investigate one moment. Just to double check that everything's working. I'm going to just have a look at my various settings and see what kind of load the computer's under at the moment. Poor Mr. Potato. Most days it gets better after a few minutes. Okay, yeah, we've left it running for about five minutes now and it hasn't quite settled down. So let's have a look um, what we can do. Ah, we can end that. That's one thing that can go. There we go, I'm going to leave that running. Okay, go back into the game. There we go. Did I get cold? Yes, I might have. I'm not sure whether it's hay fever or not, or whether I've got some sort of cold. Apologies if I'm a little bit n more nasally today. Um, I'm definitely feeling uh, something. Been hot out here today. Garden up to 32 degrees. Wow. That is super hot. Wasn't 
too hot here in the UK. We were up to, what was it, about a pleasant 17. Um, it's supposed to be warm tomorrow though. Right, let's have a look at the mail. What have we got? 22,000 in the mail. Ah, Tome of Illusions, North End. Suramar, Enchant Cloak, some Drogba style salmon. A lavish feast, we've got 20 of those gone. Faranar Fizz, Deep Bright Mosgill, and a couple of enchants. Okay, so that's good. 22,000. Not bad, not bad at all. Ah, officially only 24. Yeah, but if you can get into a nice sun trap area, then yeah, it does uh, it does spike a little bit. Right, that's done. How are we doing on memory usage? That's okay as well, actually. Uh, price of enchantments is tanking hard on your server, is it, Danny? Interesting. They've been holding strong so far on here. Um, how long that will last, I don't know for sure. It's fine now. It does seem to be green now, so I think we might have... Uh, Settle down on the um, on the uh, OBS front. Excuse me, one moment. Cloaks and necks almost under one k. Wow. Okay, shouldn't have said that. Has it gone again? Yeah, just don't say kill. All right, there we go. Oh, we've got some bear tartar sales. Bind of agility and everything else is on. That's good. See, some of these enchants are quite good. Um, ah. <laughs> it, if I let it down, it goes at least to below my shoulder. Uh, it's quite scraggly though, because I don't have a lot up top, but I do have a lot around the back and the sides. Yeah, I think it's quite a bit uh, scruffier today, a bit higher. Because when I cycle, I put a, um, a cycle helmet on and it does squash it a little bit. Okay, so that was our... Everything picked up. So what we're going to do is check in on the auctions again. And then... We can go and do some restocking. Let's start with the enchanting. Clear that from yesterday or the day before. Was it yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. It was only yesterday that we did this. Okay, binding agility we can do. Train soldier three strengths. Now this is the point where we're completely out of arcana. Right, so tactics here. Um, no stone hide leather. How much shalder eye silk do we have let's look in my bags have I got any on me just a couple so the mat cost is 4 gold 47 and we've got 8,821 so we have got a good supply of them so I think we can afford to do some silk weave braces let's gather up what we can otherwise because there's a couple of other things in this that we can go and pick up. And then we'll go over to the gill bank and have a look. So I'm thinking, hmm, should I, I should really change the price of my Ley Light and Arcana to include the mat cost of Shalda Rye Silk. You have a macro in, in, say, in trade. Want to buy Legion Greens, 25 gold, cash on delivery. Used to get a lot more, but still some. That's interesting. And then I take it you um, disenchant those greens for, uh, for whatever you get from them. I'm assuming you'll get a ley light from them for most of them. All right, what have we got? Abyss crystal? Ah, we're out by one. 
and then the rest is Ley Light and Arcana. We need one more Abyss Crystal. Two to four dust. Now what do I get the Abyss Crystal from? It's something I can disenchant. Is it the Nether Weave? Let's have a look, see what price they're at first. Uh, currently, oh, they're only at 8 gold. My mat cost is 9.63. So we can afford to pick up a few of these at cheap price. We'll take... How many should we take? That gives us 129. That'll do for now. Pick those up. And then we'll swap over to enchanting. Let's go to the standard one. Um, silk weave braces. Ah, they're there. Okay, we need the runic cat gut and the silk, so let's go pick that up. Not sure if I've got any runic cat gut. Let's have a look. I'm sure, I've probably got some somewhere. Let's check my tailoring tab. Turnium thread. Um, let's do a search. Runic. It's in the cooking tab, of course. Of course, it's in there. Let's take that. And then we'll take some of this silk. Let's take that stack, that stack, and some of these. Very expensive. What's uh, very expensive? The runic cat gun or the arcane crystals? All the dust. Abyss crystals, not arcane crystals. Got the wrong thing. Okay, let's go do that and then we can make some braces. Let's start with that. The cat gut, yeah. All of 45 silver. Alright, let's bring that up. We do have, do we have some ley light on me? Just make sure I've got, yes, I can fill the slot with that. And we can bring up TSM destroying at the same time. So we'll wait and fill this up. Hey, buy a 200 stack. Yeah, I've got 360 at the moment, so I've got a good amount for the moment. Could always put some on the auction house. I wonder if they actually sell. Um, min buyout is currently at five gold fifty six. There's four auctions on. With a region sale rate of 0 0.2. That's interesting. I wonder if I sold them in stacks of twenty whether they'd sell. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, money opportunities. Well, the cooking stuff sells. We know that much. So there's no reason to believe that something like Runic Catgut wouldn't sell. You went there and shocked you didn't have gold on you. <laughs> yeah, that that's... Uh, you'd have to have very little gold to not be able to afford a stack of that. How much is a stack of Runic Catgut? 90 gold. I guess that is quite expensive really, isn't it? Compared to some vendor items. That's 95. Fireweed isn't a vendor item. Um, what else have I got that could be? Not a lot. Ah, your tailor is poor. Fair enough. 
Right, here we go, nearly full. Ah, your leather worker is your main. Um, I've got it the other way round. My Samadan's my my main for this. Right, let's um, actually let's close the bags down. We don't need those open, and we'll just run through and do a disenchant. Ah, your scribe's your first alt. That's one thing I found actually is there are all of different uh, levels of development. My um. Erfan has done a little bit of questing, but not much, and Jawaken has done barely any. So it's kind of interesting to see how they're all at different stages. Of course you get to experience different parts of the content as well by levelling through them. Just wish I had more time really, to be able to level some more. Druid's your second alt, Herb and Alchemist, good choice, good choice. Scribes looking to be really good in BFA, gold-wise. Ooh, yeah. That's a good point, Danny. I've heard good things about it. Um, and we're going to have Bridget, my hunter, as my scribe. But obviously she's only level 38, I believe. So we've got a lot of levelling to do on that front. So my next stage um, is to get Jawakening's Herbalism and Alchemy up to 800. And so that will be my third double profession. And then once I've done that, then it's going to be levelling El Morty, my death knight, from his current 60 up to 110, as well as levelling up blacksmithing and mining. Are your enchanter is not even 110 yet? That's interesting. Yeah, there's so much to do. And not enough time to do it all. That's the thing. But still, we can see what we can get done. It's all progression. It's all fun, which is the main thing. It's all little goals. Ah, oh, he's got one. Okay, X. That's good. At least you can share the professions between the two of you. It's been a long time since I've done silkweed braces. Now what I do need to do though is change my price if I'm using braces now. I'm um, using silkweed braces. I need to look up the item number of silkweed braces and swap out stone hide with silkweed. Or rather shalder eye silk. So that my material price accurately represents my mat cost. Oh, he's also got uh, dual craft and engineers. Yeah, you know, pretty much got them all then, or most of them. That sounds pretty good. Oh, someone's discovered a new transmutation. Interesting. Never seen that before. Um, anyone here still use the barn? No, I don't use I don't use my barn, Danny. I've been using um if I wanting to um It's just expensive at the moment, Costa. Um we use up all our cheap stock. We can have a look and see what it's at at the moment. I haven't actually looked today. But it was um a lot of alchemy and instruction le legacy stuff was discovery based. Aha! Okay, thanks for the heads up. That explains that. Yeah, last I looked, stone hide leather was quite. Yeah, with the barn getting the um, the wolves in, it's kind of like hasn't appealed to me yet. When it's so easy to go out with Earthen and pick up um, the sumptuous fur from one of the Nagran farms. See, looking at that, the storm scale is a definite um, potential here, but I need to get the rank 3 storm scale for that. 
which is uh, tempting because Stonehide is up here at 484. So this would give me a, a third alternative with the Bracer Shuffle. I mean, 296 is really good price-wise. I'm going to actually take that whilst it's there as it's 91. In fact, I'd probably take the 5 of 6 as well. Yeah, they're definitely cheap. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to leave this one as an offering to the Undercut Gods. I'm going to take the 357, the 108 at 4, and then I'll leave everything at 483 and upwards. Because I've already got 1,300, so um, it's not too bad. Um, and we'll send those over to Earthen. Let's have a look. I'll do that now, and then I need to move. I've got one sail, bind of agility. Okay, that's good. And then we'll go male selected groups. And then uh, what we need to do is what is the item number of Shalderai Silk? What I could really do with is. Um, that other add-on. Oh, Danny, thank you ever so much with the chair. It's very kind of you. It's extremely kind of you. Thank you ever so much. Thank you for your support. Very kind of you indeed. What I was looking for was the Undermine Journal, which gives me my item ID numbers most easily. Shoulder eye silk, and then the number I'm looking for. Let's move this over. Search for that. Item 124437 is the number I want. So go into here, into here. Crafting reports, materials. Arcana. Oops, missed it. And I've forgotten the number. One, two, four, four, three, seven. One, two, four, four, three, seven. There we go. Copy that. Enter that. There we go. Hey, Score Shane, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. And Apple. How are you both? I hope you're doing well. I was trying to move this window out of the way. And it's just in the wrong place. There we go. Got that back. Um, there's an add-on called ID tag that will give you the ID numbers. Excellent. Thank you, Apple. I've been thinking of something like that. There's the other one I think I've seen Gumdrops use called, is it Ludwig? Um, that also gives you the ID numbers. I'm looking to try that one out as well. That's going to be a useful one, I think. Um, a wonderful hot day for you, 34.4. Wow, that is super hot score, Shane. Just watched uh, Fulham beat Derby in playoffs. Ah, that's uh, football, I take it. I'm not a follower of football, but uh, congratulations, whichever team you're supporting. And good evening, Sportcast. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Laylight. I'm looking for. I'm not going to search for it because it might crash. Lay light. And we're going to change this. Uh, we're missing a one there. Close that down. Lol, it is. And you support neither. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. And then we'll go back to enchanting. And now our arcana mat cost is at 13 and if we look at our shelter eye silk which is 4 gold 40 which makes 13 so that's that adds up um, interesting looking at that they've got arcana down at 6 gold Hold the fort. Let's have a look if that's still up. 
Hold on. Legion enchanting materials. Chaos crystals down to 89. Arcana is actually down to 6 gold 81. So that's super cheap. Quick, let's buy it. How much can we buy? Anything under 13 gold 22 is worth buying. So I'm going to buy that, buy that. There's 89 of 10 there at 885. Yes, please. Um, we stray towards high 40s. Where, wow, that is super, super high as uh, forecast. That is, I, I could certainly couldn't bear that. I guess if you're if you're used to it, that's fair enough. Too hot for your sensitive skin, yeah. Sometimes you get occasional 40, yeah, definitely. That's all right. I'm loving this Arcana price. This is going to save me the silk silk weave shuffle nut. Uh no end. Oh, you're not used to it. Okay. I feel your pain then. I would faint. Yeah, I think I think I would too, Costa. Definitely at that. I'm just gonna buy this Arcana because I use so much Arcana. This isn't like Chaos Crystals. This just gets used up. My server is paradise. When I can catch the sales, it is uh, Hearth. And how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Let's take that. Um, uh, again, anything under. Under 13 is a profit for me, so I'm going to take these. I'm going to take the 10 of 10. I mean, I know I've got a fair amount, but I will burn through Arcana so quickly. Ah, southeast. You're all the way across the world. <laughs> And 11.93. I'm even going to take that one of 200 12.45 because that is cheaper, and leave the rest. Now ley light, mat cost is coming in at 39, and this is at 29. So not as many, but we'll take the one of 14, and I'll leave the one of one on for the under. Ah, from Cyprus. That is certainly a certainly can get hot there, uh, Svorkas. It's kind of like baked in the middle of the med. But now my price is incorrect again. Yes, this is true, Costa. There's, this is the problem with TSM, is it won't actually give you an accurate price because it doesn't uh, track um, which item you got from which source. Um, so even though my price is now probably based off of average buy, Kind of, but my average per. Let's open these up first. Um, just going to see what, how many chaos crystals are at super cheap prices. We've still got 1,300 left, so we'll leave those for now. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, TSM doesn't track everything. So let's take these buys and change, see what our average purchase price goes down to. So it's currently our average purchase price is at 11 gold, 10 gold 92 now, 9 gold 97 now. So it's definitely going down. Being an island makes humidity go up horrendous levels and we also get huge dust clouds that climb up from the Middle East. Wow. I bet that's, that's spectacular to see, but yeah. So looking at that, that's average purchase price is lower. So what I'd probably need to do to even this out, let's have a think of this. Was oh, it rendering again? It looks green on my side. Don't think I've had any more drop frames. I'll see how it goes though. Let me know if it really stutters. Um, let's take those buys again. 
you don't see them, basically you don't see anything, don't breathe either. Taste of dirt in your mouth, oh that doesn't sound uh, fun, Sforkas, yeah I'm not sure I'd like that. Ah, Gorilla, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Makes you relax after a long day of work, well perfect, that's exactly the intention here. It's just a nice chilled out stream. With a bit of gold making on the side and discussion about TSM and the various mechanics. Uh, it's possible, it's possible Costa, because I haven't, I don't believe I've had any drop frames for a while. It, it has looked a solid green on OBS for a while. Have to see how it goes. Right, more Arcana purchases. We certainly did get lots of it, didn't we? 2000 Arcana. I'll easily go through that though. At least I won't have to do any disenchanting for a while. Right now, chilling watching this, but uh, need to get back to uh, straightening your movie library by actor and actress. <laughs> Interesting organisation that way, and not alphabetical by movie title. What's our average purchase price now? 9 gold 37. So I think what I'm going to have to do is change my material price yet again. Um, and I'm going to do, because TSM doesn't record exactly where every item comes from, I'm going to have to go with a ballpark between my three different sources. Those being um, Stonehide Leather, Shoulder Eye Silk and Average Purchase Price. Welcome to do yours as well. <laughs> Over 700 movies all laid out on your floor. <laughs> Good luck with that one. I got rid of most hard copies of my movies for a long while. Oh, there seems to be a bit of a mount, mount off going on here. Um, right, so enchanting. We need to go back to the Undermine Journal because I haven't got the add on. Um, where is it? And we're going to look up stone hide leather one two four one one three. So what I'm going to do? Uh, we need materials, not that. So we're going to take um, that, copy that, paste it in again, and we're going to change this to stonehide leather, which is one, two, four, one, one, three. And then we're also going to put in just the average buy of Arcana, which will be that. And then we're going to take the whole lot of these and encapsulate those in one average. So we're going to do the average between the average buy of Shalder Ice Silk times three, the average buy of Stonehide Leather times three, and the average buy of Arcana itself. So that should give me a price that's somewhere between those three values. It's not going to be super duper accurate. I don't think TSM can do that without tracking every single item and where it's come from. But that's going to be the the basis for it, I think. So let's copy that and do that for Laylight. Or just put it at 13. <laughs> yeah, that's another option, Costa. Oh, hey, Killer Cowboy, how are you? Haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I'm going to go down to Ley Light Shards now and do the same, but these are going to be times nine. So go to there, that times nine, and that times nine. Now if I close this and reopen it up again, let's have a look at what the actual price is coming out at. Um, actually, no, we don't need to look at that. We can look at the average price here. So, 
Okay, so the mat cost is coming in at about 10 gold for Arcana. Just make sure you never exceed that. Yeah, I mean, that's a good, that's a good ballpark now to look at that and go, okay, um, crafting cost is 11 gold 98 based off of the Ley Light Shards. Uh, Ley Light Shards are coming in at an average of 35. See that we've got the average purchase price there at 43, so that's bumping up our price a little bit, our averages. But that's okay because we've also got the Stonehide Leather offsetting everything, so it's kind of like a ballpark now. It's not a fully accurate price, but it's close enough. And now we should be able to at least make the things that we wanted to make. Take those off. And we can make our Binding of Strengths, our Tome of Illusions, and our Enchant Necks. There we go. Right, let's get those posted on. Go this way. Okay, auctions, my auctions, run post scan. What have we got? Term of Illusions going on, Peppers going on, Binding of Agility, Train Soldier. Ah, rich purple shirt, interestingly, below min price. What's going on there? Let's go have a look. Yeah, check more often if we can just buy the mats. I think that's going to be a good idea, Costa. It does seem that prices all over are tanking a little bit. So if they are, I'm going to pick them up and ride the wave on its way down. Uh, rich purple silk shirt. Who has undercut me? And at 474. Well, that's definitely cheap. Cheaper than I've, I've been the only seller of this for so long. Um, I'm going to reset that one. Uh, rich per. We're going to take that one. Now they can make this quite easily. It only costs three gold to make. So I'm going to see how much this gets remade at that price. 499. get everything under 13 or 39 equals a profit yeah that seems like a good ballpark to go with uh, Costa I'd agree with that so I'm gonna see if that was actually the same person that made it is the same person that's selling it so that's um, Raven, Raven, Raven Tulit and let's pick this up and have a look made by Reven Tulit. okay so the person who's selling it is actually the tailor that's making it so I do have competition with the rich purple silk shirt now the question is are they going to put another one on for 499 and ignore my base price of 3000 or or what's going to happen so that's something to keep an eye on And then I can put, I've already got one of mine on at 3,000. Yeah, it only costs three gold to make her, so it's a super duper uh, profit maker, that's for sure. It's because it's such a rare pattern, and it, the pattern itself sells for so much. It's kind of one of those uh, high in demand shirts, which if you ever have the pattern, it's really handy. Uh, daily cooldowns, let's get those done. Um, have I been making any with dual crafting? Not me, uh, Restrict, I don't have dual crafting. But um, hopefully I'll be able to rectify that eventually. Uh, where'd you get the pattern for the rich purple shirt? I'm not sure, Ballsy, actually. 
he's going to do it again for sure. Yeah, I think so, Hertha. Uh, that's my suspicion. That's why I'm only buying the one. Uh, raise the fan. Okay. There we go. Have you come across uh, guys to get all the patterns for professions? Not, um... There's, there's a few different things, um, Zippity. I did actually a YouTube video on collecting recipes. Hold on, let me see if I can find it for you. Um, because there's a few different tools out there you can use. Um, I've got to find it amongst my list of everything. Hold on. Um, bear with me one moment. Um, right, it would be in, let's go here, and then let's go to there, and it's going to be in one of my playlists, which is going to be, um, gold guides, probably, let's just make sure that's muted, and... There we go. Uh, collecting recipes, tips, tools, and techniques. Let me just link this one in. And then I'll be able to catch up on chat. Oh, I've done it again. Let's move that window the wrong place. There we go. Right, okay. Let's type that in. It's on a playlist, so it's got a bit of an extra link in there. But that's all about collecting recipes and all the different things you can do to collect um, recipes. There we go. Let's just um, catch up on chat. Um, ah, Costa makes uh, gold with tool crafting. Um, hey, uh, Jafara HD. Um, can you imagine you're watching my VODs around five months and it's the first time you catch me online? Well, fantastic. Well, thank you ever so much for catching me online. And thank you for watching all my VODs. You're more than welcome to stop by. Um, you've had good luck with the Jewelcraft mounts. Nice, Mike, that's good to hear. And hello, Sparhawk, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Right, I think I've caught up on chat there. Okay. There we go. Right, so... Oh, you learnt TSM from my daily streams? Oh, oh you're very welcome. I'm glad they've been helpful. I'm really pleased. Right, just going to create a few of these whilst I'm here. Ah, oh, vintage things. Thank you ever so much for the follow. Very kind of you. Let's make another hex weave bag and a celestial cloth and an imperial silk cloth. Do our daily cooldowns for tailoring. I feel like I need to expand tailoring a little bit more. It's not quite uh, performing as much as it potentially could, but it's doing all right for now as a, a filler profession. So let's go here and do a post scan. See what else we've got. So, Okay, hexweave bags looking good at 2,500. Rich purple is now at 3,000. Probably not worth me putting another one on, but I do like to have two on anyway. Um, the plushie hasn't sold since, actually, uh, Costa. We've sold the one quite quickly, which I was quite pleased about. Um, but since then, no, we haven't. Uh, how do you delete all your groups on operations in order to start again? Your TSM is a mess. Are you um, a three or four Sparhawk? Because in four, I know it's quite easy just to make another profile. Um, oh, there you go, Apple's just said it. Um, it's quite easy and then you can keep all your old ones and maybe dip in and out of it as, as required. In TSM4, it's just as easy as in your settings here. 
and you've got profiles here you can create new ones you can either duplicate a default one or you can just make um, and you can delete ones and reset them quite easily and it's quite easy to then switch between different uh, profiles which will have all your groups and operations in each profile which is why I've got different ones for Horde and ones for Alliance because they're even though they're on the same server they're in different markets and have access to different things or there you can enter a name for the new profile and create it like that that's easy enough as well I think TSM3 can do it just as easily but I don't know where the settings are for it so done cooldowns, done cooldowns, we need to just restock on food next I think let's double check the auctions there we go um, and then cooking, let's have a look at the food I would say restock selected groups what have you got? a few little bits and pieces some we can make immediately I thought we had oh we're not restocking on the lavishes because we had extra didn't we because we bought some of them out slash tsm options okay there you go thank you Apple barracuda and we'll we might as well gather for these there are only a few small things Yes, we were going to have oh, nothing to gather, interestingly. Fleet Steez, Salt and Stone Dark Snail. I would think we would need to start gathering. Try that again. There it is. It's there. Let's go pick those up. Yeah, we bought all those extra um, lavish serum our feast, didn't we? And reset the price on the market. And probably worth having a look at those actually, just to have a double check that everything's in order. We did the same with um, shadow silk. So we'll go and check the auction house for those two items in a minute. Now that we've made those extra bits of food quite quick to do those when we're not having to make all the intermediate grass for feasts that does take a little bit of time right let's have a look okay shopping lavish how are we doing for lavishes all right okay so the price has dropped back down again we got some 387s and 388s um, jumping in underneath mine here which I've got a 5, a 10, 7 of 20. So my price at 421 hasn't held so much. We've got a fair amount of them in stock though. So whether I buy out these cheap ones again is a possibility, or I just wait for them to get bought up and I try and hold at this price is an option. And what was the other thing with Shadow Silk, wasn't it? Let's have a look at this. Ah, so they're, they're doing all right. They're holding it at a better price. Obviously, I'm up here at the one of eight, so... But I'm the only one with a stack of eight. So if I was, if I was wanting to purchase these to make a Shadow Weave mask, my first step would be to buy this six and those two singles to get me eight. And then the next step would be to go for me at the single stack of eight. So I'll leave those on as it is. That should be fine. And I'm going to leave the lavish for now and see what happens over the next few days. You never know, that might, that might change. So let's post on those bits of food that we have made. And then we can look at some shopping. There we go, let's get those on. And okay, what have we got? We've done leather working, we've done enchanting. Let's look at the good stuff. How's this looking? Any bargains? Large brilliance, always cheap at the moment. Um, essence of undeath, normally cheap. 
Sumptuous fur is looking quite cheap at 1 gold 25. That's uh, worth saving me the um, hassle of having to farm it. I mean, my average purchase price was 3 gold 50. So, how much of this have we got? Uh, there's only the one stack of eight. That's a shame. I was hoping there would be more of that. I'll buy the little bit that there is. And then Arcane Dust is looking quite cheap. We've got 259 of that at the moment anyway. Uh, Crystallized Life is looking cheap. But then we only normally buy it for one gold anyway. How much have we got? 145. We're probably all right with those. How's Spirit of Harmony looking? 419. Any motes of Harmony at 19. So it's 10 motes for one spirit. So that's actually worth buying because um, that's 100 and 199, so just under 200 for that, and normally Spirits of Harmony are much higher. So I'm going to buy up those moats. Anything, everything up to the 20 marks, so everything to the 200 mark is worth buying. So I'll get those 25 moats for 19.99. And I'll take the single of five as well. There we go. Okay. What else can we shop for? Uh, cloth. Let's see if there's any cheap cloth. You buy that all under the 30. Yeah, I think it's a good, good idea to um, snap those up. I don't know what... Um, ooh, Shadow Rice Silk's looking cheap. Look at that, two gold 61. I'm getting all the bargains tonight. I'm liking this. How much shoulder eye silk is there? Whoa, look at that. Okay. Let's go buy some silk. Is someone else buying it up at the same time? Yeah, they are, aren't they? Okay. Let's see what we can do. Let's get the two of 200. Get the one of 110, nine of 100. Oh, that's gone. What about the six of 50? Can we get those? Managed to pick those up. It's a price war. Let's try with the 10 of 20s. The four of 40 and the 45 I'll leave. And those 10 of 1 and 2 of 1. It's a silk off. Yeah, definitely. I caught some of them. I didn't get them all. But I did get some of them. Um, what's the price of Ghost Iron Ore? I don't know actually, Costa. I haven't looked that one up. I haven't had it on my list of things to buy. Um, what's the price of Eternal Fire on my server? Both good questions. Let's have a look at them both. So, first one was uh, Ghost Iron Ore. Ghost Iron Ore. So we're currently looking at 20 gold. 20 gold. Region market average is 17. So it's a little bit higher. Quantity-wise, there isn't a lot of it. I'm guessing this is going to be something I'm going to want to collect um, as a blacksmith at some point because ghost iron is quite hard to get hold of. Um, um, the other one was Eternal Fire which is currently sitting at 45 gold. Ah, should be 1 20th of a Spirit of Harmony. Oh, okay. There's one, there's three Eternal Fires on for 45 gold. 
So Eternals are the ones you can buy with the frozen orbs, isn't it? Yes, that's right, Jack. There you go. Um, or in my case, because I haven't got the reputation, it's more like 72 gold is the maximum price I'd pay for that. But these at 45 is worth buying. Have I got Eternals as a option? I'm sure I have. Oh, it's Volatiles I've got. Okay. There we go. Ah, there we are. Right. Well, let's get these as we are. We'll make a new group of looking for Eternals because there's all the different ones, isn't there? Um, air 94, so that's too much. Water 111, that's too much. Earth 4 gold 98, really? But sure. Isn't there another thing you can do where you can convert one Eternal from one to another? Can't you convert Eternal Earth to Eternal Fire somehow? I want to snatch up more Spirit of Harmony. Okay. It's alchemy with that, is it? Hmm. I see a plan coming on with my alchemy. Yeah. Hey, Jebediah Springfield. How are you? Making your moat extractor in Burning Crusade and sucking up the moats to make your primals and such. <laughs> ah, but with a cooldown. Right. Well, these do seem remarkably cheap, so I'm going to pick them up for now. I'm going to keep an eye on this market. Um, so what I'm going to do is add those into the favourites. What I should do is put them into a group themselves. But I could, the easiest way to do that is to actually have one of each on me. And I haven't got bought everything yet. So I'll leave those as they are for now. Da, 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 planar. Water's a drain or herbs. Let's look at that. Anything under a gold. Mm, some black rock ore is quite cheap. 55 silver. In case the ore trader is up. There we go. As long as you buy Eternals for 60 gold max, crystallize 6 gold max, and frozen orbs at 60, you can make a profit uh, or use it for crafting. Yeah, good idea, Jack. Okay, that's... Oh, that's something unfortunate happening with those two uh, wolf and panther. I'll leave them to it. So, okay, so the ore is 17, Spirit of Harmony is 340. Right, so that's interesting. So my ore is currently at 19, so a little bit higher than that. So the Spirit of Harmony is more like um, coming close to 400. Um, got a few more there to come. Let's have a look. I'll we'll clean this up whilst we're here. Make that. Um, okay, bit conservative with that. Yeah, I'm not fully um, sure what I'd make use of those yet. But I do know they are things to look out for, definitely. Um, chocolate cookies, I need to get rid of that now. We're not doing that anymore. And then, you mostly buy the fire, earth, and... Sh oh, there's a shadow one as well, for making the titan seal. And so those per four. Which is why you always buy under 300. Okay. That does make sense. I need to make a new group, really, of shopping. Let's add a new one and call this Eternals. 
and we're going to add in fire and earth at the moment we'll add the others in later and then what I'm going to do is take the good stuff um, and add in an extra group spirit of harmony and awe and what I'm going to do is take the where is it spirit of harmony the m whoops not mysterious essence the mote of harmony add those two in and where was that all there we go um you smelt them to bars and sell them a craft with them okay hey john christians how are you doing very well thank you very much we're just reorganizing our groups a little bit adding a few extra things in What was the thing that I got that I need to look out for? It wasn't the black rock ore, was it? It was ghost iron ore. I don't think I bought any, did I? I need to look out for some ghost iron ore. What I'm going to do, is the easiest way to do this, is just going to buy some. A stack of four is the cheapest. And I'm going to add that into a group like this and take that and then add that into the group to go the same with Spirit of Harmony and Ore. We're going to add in the Ghost Iron Ore like that. Uh, we also have three stacks of 30 bars in the auction house, 45 each. Use transmute mount uh, and engineering and for the fridge and the golem. Aha! Okay, so you're moving them on to something more, more useful. Okay, so now using the power of TSM, we're going to drag this to the regular favourite shopping. So now, whoops, when I go favourite shopping, I can go down to Spirit of Harmony and Awe, run a shopping scan, and have a look at the three of those together. Ah, we've got the other one selected still. Turn that one off, run a shopping scan. So, Spirit of Harmony needs to be bought anything under 300. Full 1.9 is definitely too expensive, isn't it? And the moats are 35. I wish I wasn't deploying soon. Uh, TSM skills and gold making techniques are gold. Oh, that's a shame, uh, Sparhawk. Well, I hope your um, deployment goes okay and you're not out of action too long and you can get back into the gold making as soon as possible mm. yeah that's what I thought way too high but now we've got a group we can look for them okay, you've got them in a nice group that we can have a look for those okay that's good glad about that we've got some sales from what we've put on so far. So Samadan's in a good place. We've done our daily cooldowns. We put our stuff on and restocked. So I'm going to swap over to Earthen. Have a look at how the leather working is doing. See if we need to put anything on there. I'm going to work our way down the characters until we get to progression points. So remember the prices. I will do my best. One twentieth of the all is Spirits of Harmony. Okay, we've got some expires. Ooh, would you look at that? 
we actually have some sales of Dreadful Gladiators stuff for the first time in forever. Look at that. Gladiators male gauntlets, ring male spalders, and male helm. Is it by the same person? Spa Banken. It's the, is the same person. That seems like a bank character though. Are they looking to flip that? Either way, I'm happy with that. 16,000 in sales, I wasn't expecting. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Well, that soaks up the entire cost of pretty much all of my Gladiator stuff and the posting costs of all of it. Um, so I'm happy to keep on um, listing those. So long as I get the odd sale like that, that's all right with me. Wasn't you, Sporhawk? Okay. It's a similar name, but not the same. Everything else has got 12 hours and 48 hours on. So that's doing okay. Um, how is the leather working looking? Is there anything we need to restock on? Now, will those gladiators things need to be restocked on? Let's have a look. Leather, oops, leather working. Restock. There we go. The restocking is working. We need to, uh, now that's going to be lots of magnificent hide for that. I'm tempted to leave that for the moment. Um, I'll leave the gaps. I, D, Y, D, W, D. I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> Been a bit offline moving stuff since your apartment. Yeah, how's your knees uh, score, Shane? What's the no for Costa? Is that um, to no to the restocking on it? Or the, okay, yeah, wise man, yep. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave those like that. I'm gonna make some more drums and the uh, stone hide leather barding if you've got the space for it. We'll make whatever drums we can. We have got some stone hide leather now. Sore as heck, still swollen like your feet. Youch. Sorry to hear that. I've got a Oreo laying down next to me. No cookie though. And the barding. We're missing the stone hide leather. Okay. Well, you're saying we've got some. Where is the stone hide leather? Not in here. Is it in the bank? Let's have a look. Do I make the hoop and leash? No, I don't think I have actually. Hello? Don't know if I can, is the other question. Reagent bank. No, I don't have any stone hide in there actually. Okay, I'll just stick with the drums for now. Let's have a look. Hoop and leash. Can't rest yet because you have to unpack. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, it has gone uh, red now. Let's have a look. Loop. Hoop. Hoop. Nope. Um, let's look in the standard. Hoop. Uh, was it hoop or loop? Uh, hoop and each. Oh yeah, flaming hoop in the unlearned. That's another uh, hundred sightless eyes. Okay. And the other one was leech. No, can't see a pet leash. Flaming hoop and leather pet leash. There we go. So these these are going to be sightless eyes again. 
I don't fancy going down into the sewers just yet. Hey, lockdown, how are you? It holds a pet. Okay, leather pet leash. As this toy to your toy box, a leather leash. Interesting. Okay, that's something I could. What's what's the uh, sell rate? 0 0.08. Okay, min buyouts at three two five. Region market's actually two and a half thousand. And the leather love seat is a nice one as well. What's that cost? A curious coin. Interesting. Okay. Just got off work for the day. Okay, time to unwind as well. Excellent. Good plan, uh, lockdown. Well, you've come to the right place. This is the place for unwinding. Yeah, that love seat does look like it's got a good price on it. 3000 So I'm going to have to get myself some more collecting of things. Definitely. I've got a huge amount in my unlearned tab that needs to be filled. So that's going to have to be something to do once I've got some more professions up to 800. I'm going to see if there's any daily cooldowns I can do. Do that one. Do that one. Drums of Fury we've got. Magnificence we've got. Hardened. Don't particularly want to use up my Magnificent Hide on that. So I'm going to leave that for now as well. Okay. So what we're going to now do is move on through to Jawakening, our druid, who has alchemy. Uh, yesterday we managed to get alchemy up pretty yeah, good money with toys in BFA. Yeah, I think so. It looks like it could be good fun. And then there's the 300 toy achievement as well, isn't it? Okay, where are we at with this? A few questy thingies to do. Um, how are we doing character-wise? 759 um, eye level. Our professions are currently standing at 741 for alchemy. I thought it was 761 I got it to. And then Herbalism is currently at 94 of 800. So that we should be able to level up fairly quickly by running around and doing things. The alchemy side of things, we could probably do with making sure we've got all the recipes for that. Ah, GG14321, thank you ever so much for the follow. Welcome on board. Um, first rare in Ashran and the trade post item dropped. Ah, congratulations, uh, Detro. And hello as well to you. There we go. Big congratulations for me. Congratulations. Alright, um, where am I... What have I got um, here? Alchemy quest lines. Okay, we've got... Uh, Eye of Ashara, put a cork in it dungeon, retrieve the advanced corks, advanced corks and Wrath of Ashara slain. So that's a possible thing we could do. If there are any um, EU horde people who are willing to uh, pop into the Eye of Ashara with me. Um, this could be a thing we could do tonight. Um, try and progress alchemy a little bit. Or failing that, we could carry on with some herbalism side of things, getting some more dream leaf leveled up. Uh, we have one, Mr. Deadfellow. Any other horde takers for EU that would like to do the Eye of Ashara to help with the advanced... Um... Oh, thank you, Bullsey. 
<laughs> Apologies, Jack, yes. Um, if I could make it so that it wasn't faction specific, I would. I definitely would. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, everyone. What I'll do is I'll start a group up. Um, Pre-made groups. Custom. Start a group. We shall call it Sama Dan Plays Wow. And list the group. I'll click on auto accept. Pop that there. Not no problem at all, Sparhawk. Alright, I'm not sure what uh I'll probably go Boomkin form for this. It's probably safer for all if I don't try to tank or heal. Let's pop my way down to um, the Eye of Ashara. Let's follow the arrow, that'll be easier. And then I'll have to try and remember my Boomkin rotation and try not to die as well, which I did quite a lot last time, if I recall. Oh, I should be uh, doing a bit of herbalism as I go, actually. I forgot to look out for all the, um, the spots. Let's have a look as we go. And then if there any pop up, I'll collect them up. There's one. Oh, that surprised me. Hold on. There we go. Do that, do that. Then we need to do that. New moon, one of those. Do another one, lunar strike. And then we need a half moon. Oh no, that one's ready. Then we can do one of those. Uh, when you kill the last boss, I actually need a little way you need to pick it up. Did it a few hours ago. Okay, excellent. Thank you uh, for the heads up, Hearth. There we go. Hey, Ballsy, thanks for stopping by. Jack the Cursed Harbringer. Oh, what are we missing there? Let's get that whilst I'm here. Healthy Dream Leaf, we picked up. Are we still going? Um, okay, let's keep going. Just seeing if I can get any more herbs whilst I'm making my way down. And Deadfellow, hello. Welcome to the group. Thank you all for your help. Much appreciated. All right, oh, we missed a couple there. There's one. Oh, and another Nightmare Creeper. This is a good chance for me to practice my uh, DPS. We did some, which is useful. I uh, was asking uh, which rare I killed. You're on your phone, isn't that easy? Yeah, phone phone typing is never that easy. Um, Detro, as Costa will attest to. Right, are we still heading in the right direction? Yes, we are. Well, no, we need to go a bit further south, in fact. And then check to see if there are any herbs. On the way, en route. Oh, there's something. Where is it? Oh, it's near the. Um... Let's go in and out. Do I get interrupted? 
try again. That's better. That's easy. In and out. Um, what did I miss there? Alright, oh, missed another one. I'm still flying. Let's just carry on. That's a long way away, isn't it? I oh, know, we're here now. There we go. Uh, you can probably drop your group and queue in a dungeon finder with your party now. Oh, that's a good idea. We need a healer and a tank. Okay, good idea. Um, uh, I can tank. Um, okay, I'll leave otherwise, no problem. Okay, um, I mean, I don't mind trying to heal as a healer. We can give this a go. Is it heroic only? I think I've currently got it at normal. Do we need to do it heroic? Um, let's have a look at what the quest says. I have a Shara. We can do it on normal. So we can probably do this quite easily. Uh, good evening, Commander Bond. How are you? On normal, we don't need a healer. Okay, let's switch it to normal. Might as well do it. Do it easy. Yeah, we're on normal. Um, loot. Loot options, personal. I guess that's the only option we've got. Okay. Right. If we're ready, shall we pop in? What does anyone... Oh, do we need a summon? No problem. Let me just get out of uh, travel form. See if we can summon. There we go. Oh, you can solo that place on normal. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Well, I'll try not to die is going to be the um, <laughs> the tactic here. As we know, I died last time getting lost, so uh, I shall endeavour not to do so this time. Okay, Lessons in How Not to Do a Dungeon by Samadan. I need to go into my Boomkin form. There's my Boomkin form. There it is. My right mouse button's not working very well. Uh, this is frustrating. I do like having Druid travel form though. That is useful, even if I can't steer. Let's do some actual damage. You mean? Okay. Alright. Let's practice a bit of rotation stuff there. We're going to get our dots going. And then we want to do Lunar Strike. It's quite a slow um, casting spell, that one. Find a way of uh, speeding that up with some haste, I imagine. One of those, one of those. Make sure you've got an AOE on. And then everyone dies before we can do anything else. Alright, now we can do some actual DPS. That, and then E, and then a 4, and then a Solar Wrath. Make sure that's topped up. Do a Full Moon, and an E, and then a 4, and then a 5. Try not to die as well, that's another point. There we go. I've got some shoulder eye silk. It's going to be useful. Just don't pull. <laughs> right, 
Right, I also have to make sure I'm aware and I follow everyone. Because I get lost so easily. Okay, back into the travel form. Do an AoE. Do a new moon. And they're dead already. Doesn't take long at all. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, that's cool. Everyone dies so quickly in this. Oh, we picked up a few ads there. Moon and a thing. Let's see if I can help out with some. I think that does some AOE, doesn't it? And it says high threat. Oh, move out of the way of the fire. Give myself a bit of a regrowth. And you a bit of a regrowth. Back to travel form. Ah, now this is the thing I have to make sure I don't stand in the uh, dots on. Lunar Strike. Solar Wrath. Get out of the water, we've done that. Half Moon. Lunar Strike and one of those. Keep the dots on. Whoops, that hurt. Okay. Oh, Blood of Sargeras. Now this is where I often get lost, so I'll follow this one. Do my DPS. Oh, my right mouse button. Not working so well. Okay, so a dot on the U who are afflicted with the toxic wound. I think I probably need to just move out the way then with that. Oh, here come some other serpents. Right, where is everyone? Let's try some damage there. Some damage there. Some damage there. Give myself a heal. I seem to be standing in all the uh, all the nasty stuff. Oh, didn't quite manage that one, unfortunately. I don't suppose we've got any uh, res abilities. Um, ah, good evening, Nix. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, thank you very much. DK can res normally. Always handy. Did I do the uh, boss loot? No, I didn't. There we go. Five gold. I must remember I can also res as well as a druid. Just got uh, hope and log onto your jewel crafter and sold two panthers. Oh, I hope so, Nix. Let's hope so. Oh. I've got to make sure I'm following the correct area, otherwise I, uh... Ooh, let's go, uh... Can we go cat form? Where's cat form? There we go, that's a bit faster. <laughs> 90k in the mailbox, excellent Nix, congratulations. I pressed the wrong button. We want to be boom, boomkin form. Let's do some dots. See if I can catch up a little bit. Oh, I haven't got my sprint ability. Where's my travel form gone? That should be Q. There we go. Okay. Right, that, that. Stay out of the sparkly stuff. Kill the other stuff. Loot that stuff. Stay in travel form. And then try not to die is the order of play. Uh, this bit I got lost in last time. 
So I'll have to be careful with this. Okay, I'll do a dot on you and a dot on you. Swap to the other one and a dot on you and a dot on you. Oh, I've been stunned. Oh, and they're dead already. That was quick. I've got to avoid the lightning y things on the bottom. So this king guy is the uh, one we need to do. That and then. Oh, new moon. Oh, nearly stay out though. Half moon. Build up our things and then an E. Let's try and get a few dots going in. Oh, let's avoid some stuff. Uh, let's dodge these like that and reapply our dot and another dot dodge everything else oh he's dead fantastic there we go there we go right okay if you are done I uh, recommend you get your alchemist a transmute master Very easy to get and transmute you're doing now, possibly missing out some pretty nice gold. Ah, okay. Oh, let's see if I can help with a heal on that. There we go. Right, we've got to kill these things, it looks like. I'll try and help with some healing here. I haven't got my heals set up. I only half got your message, Jack. I'll have to read it properly afterwards. Let's try another healing touch. That seems to be a bit of a better spell. There we go. Transmute nice of prox and bars. Okay. That could be interesting. Right, okay. Wrath of Ashara. Okay. Oh god, you're nearly dead already. How did that happen so quick? Oh, I passed up a quest item. Right, I'll have to make sure I go back for that one. It's going to keep my healing up at the moment because I've got a feeling. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Eye of Ashara. Advanced corks we needed, didn't we? I can see that on the map. That must be what I need to do. Uh, over this way, a crate of corks. There we go. Collecting. Quest done. I think. Let's have a look at the map. Alchemy. Yes, it is done. Thank you, man. All done. Thank you very much. Um, not sure if what I need any of these things. 845, potentially. Um, 850. Um, yes, please, if not need. There we go. You had an achievement. Yeah, that's a definite upgrade. And that's a definite upgrade. And so is that. Yes, definitely. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. And that's 850. Yep, that's an upgrade as well. Fantastic. Thank you. There we go. Right, let's see if I just catch up on chat. Um, just to make sure I hadn't missed anything. Jack, you were saying, um, if you're done, I would recommend 
and make your alchemist a transmute master very easy to get and every transmute you're doing now is a possibility of missing out some pretty nice gold right okay I need to look up the transmute master then um, okay, did that did that did that okay and then that um, same like transmute um, so you've got some alts you don't play much do the alchemy parts okay so I go to my main city, okay, which would be Orgrimmar, and look for the alchemy trainer there, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, let's just stretch my legs out, yowch. Okay, so we've got some progression here. Yes, the dirty city. The spiky city, I like to call it. So let's have a look. Um, I could probably um, cancel my group finder now and delist my group. What's the matter? Oreo likes to meow at me. Get so confused to find things in the city. Yep, you and me both, Jack, definitely. I haven't got a clue where a lot of things are. Um, what have we got that could tell me where things are? Where's a guard? Anyone? What's this? Uh, that's blacksmithing. Starring emissary. Um, okay, uh, we could do the whole profession search thing, but let's see if we can find someone who can actually tell me. There you are. You're someone who can tell me where it is. Right, we would like a profession trainer in alchemy, please. Okay, there we go. Ah, good evening, Fandak, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Right, let's not get lost in here. Ah, oh, you're just down here, are you? Alchemy trainer. I imagine you're in a building. Yeah, alchemy and potions. Right, what have you got? Alchemy supplies, alchemy trainer. What do you need? Aha, here we go. Right. I'm busy. Tell whatever handle it was. Young pups. Okay. So we requested the trainer. Yeah, so we've got transmutation master. I'm assuming this is the one we want. Transmute first. Right, you are. Um, iron to gold, water to fire. If you want to become a transmutation master, they can show you the way. Training is very expensive, so you have to bring me some of the finest transmuted materials. Okay. You can only learn one specialization. So if you complete your transmutation training, then potion and elixir specialists will no longer be available. Okay. Bring the requested materials to an alchemy trainer. Accept. Ah, that's got a bit. Okay, you can change later, and you can get a second alchemist. Go for elixir. Okay. Okay, right. Let's try that again. Transmutation master, what do you actually need? Four living steel. Whoa. Okay. Now I assume. I'd probably be better off just buying those on the auction house. Would be my guess at that. Where was my auction house? Here it was. How much is living steel? Shopping. Bet it's expensive. Living stick. Whoa, 2,000 gold? You're having a laugh. I can't afford that. I've only got 7,500. Yeah, they are high. Okay. Living steel recipe. 
Let's go back to the trainer. Oh, my mouse button's bothering me. Right, let's go back. Anything with a daily cooldown is expensive, yeah. So, trainer-wise, can you actually train me? Available. Okay, we've got lots of little things we could pick up. Which will be handy for um, just checking there's nothing too... It's getting a bit expensive here. Could probably do with picking up a lot of these. Um, so for Alchemy Catalysts, you should get Elixir. Uh, okay. Uh, you just spanned Mr. Pandaria, Mr. Pandaria Alchemy Crafts until you learned Riddle of Steel to bypass the cooldown. Oh, okay, Regolithus, that's a good one. And hello as well to you. Thanks for stopping by. Mercurial Stone. God, there's a lot of stuff here. Now, I can't... Um, afford to buy all of these in one go because these are getting quite expensive but there is a lot of stuff here lots of transmutes there's some good stuff here um, ah, transmute living elements does that give me uh, Uh, try to go back, let you test something. Okay, you have, you can set up for low price for me. Okay, uh, Riddle of Steel costs Spirit of Harmony though, which is expensive. Yes, it is expensive. That's definitely it. You went transmute for all four of your alchemists. I uh, you don't have valid sounds though. Okay. And see the unlearn tab, right? Okay, let's have a look. Switch to the regular, unlearned. Living steel? Where have we got? Transmute living steel. Discovery from other Pandaria alchemy recipes. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you very much for the... Um... Ah, I see how you've changed the capitalization on your... Mr. Sever Cool. That's much easier to uh, spot now rather than Mrs. Be Cool. Excellent. And thank you for stopping by and thank you ever so much for the um, cheer. It's very kind of you. Yeah, that makes it much easier. You make Mr. Pandaria potions until it's discovered. Right you are. Okay. Let me just check up on the chat. Oh, that didn't work, did it, uh, Nix? Okay, no worries. Thanks for trying, though. Uh, you farmed archaeology for a week and still don't have it. Yeah, it's a it's a tough one to get, definitely. Um, da -da -da, so you need to craft some panda things and you'll get it. Mostly pretty cheap to do. Um, what do you need for the riddle of steel? The riddle of steel is discovery again from other Pandaria recipes. Okay. Okay, I'm not in the auction. I still want to try it. Okay, without me there. Okay, let me just have a look. I'll just pop back over to the auction house. Yeah, so you just got to make stuff, it would seem. Okay. There we go. Um... Do you want me to do a search for living steel? Is that you, Nix? It is. Well, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Quick. <laughs> thank you. Very kind of you. That's super cheap. Are you sure you want to lose your profits on that? But thank you very much. That makes it made it very easy. There we go, let's pick that up. You've got a lot. Okay, well, thank you very much. The 
kindness on the stream tonight is overwhelming. Thank you all. What's that down there? I'll ignore it for now. Too many squirrels. We've got a quest to hand in. Right, there we go. Loktar, living steel. Um, your trainer was also selling titanium bar transmute. Recommend to buy that as well. Right, okay. Titanium bar, transmutation master. Dun dun dun. Okay. You should also discover the transmute for trillium. Okay, so there's a lot to do alchemy discovery wise. We're only just um, started on this. So, available. Now, unfortunately, there's no search function for this. I can buy up the cheap stuff fairly easily, but I didn't want to just keep on buying it because there's some expensive stuff further on. Um, what was it? Uh, what was it uh, you said? Um, titanium transmute, this one. That one. Um, there are tons of transmutes. Okay, it's another reason to head out to Harfield Farm and set up that garden. Yes, Scorshane, I would like to do that. It'd be interesting to do it with uh, the Awakening. Uh, plant Trillium and transmute it to living steel. Ah. Uh, get the transmute part and get your Philosoph Stone. Do I have a Philosopher's Stone here? Earth, sea, stone, wild, frost worm. There's some more transmutes here. Could be useful. You need that one to do the transmutes. Right, okay. Usually takes about 10 minutes to farm ghost iron. All you need for your, um, your jards. Cool down. And two living steel transmutes every day. And you can proc up to five living steel. So quite profitable. Okay. So the transmute master just gives you a chance to proc extra things. Is that that's how it works, is it? Okay. Uh, transmute living and uh, tools. Ah, uh, okay. Tools. We need a philosopher's stone. I'm with you now. Um, so we'll we need to get that from the supplies. I would imagine. What are you looking for? Druid. No. Where do we get a Philosopher's Stone? Farewell. Where have we got there? Okay. Ah, you have to craft it. Right you are. Let's have a look. Um, is it one that we have to look up? Let's have a look. Um, it's a shame that I've got so much in here. Mad Alchemist Potion. Okay. Um, Alchemist Stone, Alchemist Stone. Potion, Concentration, Oil, Rejuvenation, Mana Potion. There's loads of stuff. Okay. Um, I must have it in my alchemy professions then, looking at that. Let's have a look. And... Philos... Loss, Ooh, can't spell. Trinkets. God, there's loads of transmutes. Philosopher's Stone. There we go. We get it in Tanneris. From Alchemist Pestle Zug. Okay, there we go. Ah, hey, Jen, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How are you doing? Okay. So that could be slightly difficult. Iron bar, purple lotus, and fire bloom for a philosopher's stone. 
binds when picked up. Okay, so we do need to, um, you can't sell it on. Uh, by the way, any trinket stone will work. Oh, okay. Or just create an infernal alchemist stone, um, 850 trinket. That is also used as a philosopher's stone. Aha, okay. Oh, thank you, Jet, for the host. Very kind of you. You're doing well? Excellent. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, greetings, Ignis. How are you doing this fine evening? Hope all is well with you. So we've definitely got a lot of stuff we can do here. Um, revered for that. Shattered Sun. Check for Alchemist Stone on the auction house first. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, where's he gone? He despawned on me. Let's have a look. Let's go to the auction house. Let's go for the easy option first. And we'll do shopping and we'll search for alchemist. This infernal alchemist stone would be one. Okay. Got your free day today, leveling some tunes in carrot. Nice, Ignis. Leveling some new tunes. That's a pretty good um, one. 2600. Infernal Alchemist Stone. Item level 850. Um, extra versatility. And can be used for transmutations in place of Philosopher's Stone. That's handy. I mean, I can afford it because it's just the one. Uh, 7,400 I would say that's um, uh, oh you've got the uh, Draconic one was the cheapest if you have a garrison ok Danny um, do I well Nick says give you a few minutes ok let me just hold on let's hold the fort Nix is coming up with the plan I think So it requires alchemy 1, requires level 110, check, and check. And then we can do transmute things, which seems quite cool. Quite like the idea of that. Think you can make it cheaper than 2,500? Well, that would be uh, much appreciated if you can. Ah, oh, Gold Queen, thank you ever so much for the host of 20 people. Very kind of you. How was your stream? How did you get on? I hope all is well with you. Welcome everyone who's come from uh, Gold Queens. Mercurial Stone. Let's have a look. Uh, Mercury. I can't spell that. Mercure. Let's search for that. Mercurial stone. We don't appear to have one on the auction house. Okay, so is it, say, something we have to make if it's a bind on pickup one? Let's have a look and have a look over here. We're currently going through, um, for those that have joined me um, from Jet and Gold Queen streams. We are currently just uh, working on expanding on alchemy with Awakening My Troll Druid. Oh, you've got the mats for it. Okay. Um, let me look and see what I need first, because I need to pick up Mercurial Stone, Mercurial Alchemists. I can get that from the uh, trainer themselves. Okay. So I need Cold Clover, Eternal Life, Gold Clover, times 20, Frost Lotus, times 1, and Eternal Life, times 2. Okay, we can do that. 
Where is that gone again? Let's have a look. Um, okay. Um, I'm deadly. Thank you ever so much for the follow. Mercurial stone. Item level 105. Um, that does actually have a... Um, okay. So any stone. You have to wear the trinket. You just need it. Oh, you don't have to wear it. You just need it in your bag. Ah, oh, interesting, uh, Jack. Okay. So any stone will do. It would appear so, Hearth. They all work the same, it would seem. Let's have a look at um, that. We could probably... The drawing alchemy stone is the one you use. Okay. Because there's a good there's a good few of them here, isn't there? So you've got you've got a choice. I've just got to learn them. That's the main thing. Um, hey, Hardones, how are you? Uh, do you think with multi boxing five druids, it'd be better to herb mine, herb enchant, or enchant herb mine, herb enchant, or mine enchant? I don't know. Um, it depends what you're going to do with your multi box, really. Um, ah, Drainic. Drainic is what you use. That would make more sense. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Uh, you're saying Herb Mine, Jack. Yeah, I reckon... I reckon as a multi-box, I mean, the only other thing you'd get if you're going to do things like... Um, yes, I am. Uh, Nix, I'm just here. Am I looking for Mercurial? Like that one. I'll go back and try again. There we go. Ah, uh, Infernal Alchemist. Okay, let's search for Infernal. Infernal Alchemists. Infernal Alchemists. Oh, that was the expensive one. You, you reckon you can make one for cheaper? Oh wow, okay, fantastic, thank you. Let's have a look. Quick, bite, bite, bite. Phew. There we go. <laughs> Panic stations whenever I do that. <laughs> thank you very much, Nix. It's very kind of you, again, to uh, provide those for me so cheaply. That's a lot, a lot easier now. So where are we at? There we go. Infernal Alchemist Stone. Pick that one up. Oh, I just missed something there. Uh, just learned Draenor Alchemy, the daily learning book thing. Bought the recipe from NPC in your character Alchemy. Okay, Sparhawk. I need to do the daily cooldowns for that. Um, Nix, I need a cheap file of the sands. <laughs> nice one, Jack. Um, you have all the crafting profs on the rest of the main account. No worries, um, Hardens. Um, what are we doing? We need a stone so I can transmute. Yes, Jet, we are just starting on alchemy with my horde druid here. So we are basically going through and picking up the bits we're missing. Jack was saying about um, needing the transmutes, being a transmute master. So we've just gone and done that, picked that up. We've still got to get the last 60 points to 800 for the awakening but we've made some good progression um so it's all going pretty well at the moment and uh, let me just catch up on chat uh, have one for 140k um equip the zone maybe high eye level yes definitely okay let's have a look um although saying that jack does have a, a character on shadow song nix he has come and dipped to the stream many a time. Um, right, we picked up a few things, didn't we, in that dungeon run. Um, upgrade followers armor and weapons by 50 item levels. Well, let's do that to one of you, I guess. Oh, you're not max level. Okay, we'll leave that. Um, we'll pick up the artifact power. We'll do that. And then we picked up some... What have we got here? The neck, 
um, was an 850 compared to our 800. What are we looking at currently, item level? 759. Dipping doesn't pay the bills. Yes, that's true. So we can go, we can do, we can do better than this, can't we? So an 850 will take, an 845 feet will take. Jewelry, we've got a neck that's 850. That's very good. And then a, what's that? A finger, 845. I take it will replace the 649 one there. What happened there? Yeah, there we go. And then an 850, that's the trinket, which you've got an 800 and an 800. So, yeah, my right mouse button is going wrong. That's a um, heirloom, so we can destroy that. And then the weapons we're keeping. Okay. Upgrades up to 785 for Joakening. Well, that's a bonus. And then teaches you Drain on Mastery Alchemy and a number of recipes. I'm sure I've got this already. I'm sure I've done this. Let me just check. Yeah, spell is already known. We've got that one already. Off I go then. Exactly. <laughs> Your troll has been upgraded. Okay, we've got some good stuff here. We've got all these, which we probably need to vendor. All of these. It keeps being funny. <laughs> Never gets old. Never gets old. Okay, someone we can sell to. Let's do that. Repair all items. Right, probably want to sell all these ancient healing things and stuff. I don't think they're going to sell on the auction house for these being used to level up, I imagine. I uh, did your leveling with legion mats and obliterate them. Um, I guess you even made a profit. Yes, that's a good idea, Her Thumb. Probably going to move over to legion um, materials now that I'm at 740. Um, are oh, the ancient healings for the other um, Legion Recipes ones? Yes, good point. So I'll need to keep that one. This is the Drainic ones I want to get rid of. All of these aren't worth doing. Um, a few of the different Drainic utility ones do sell for a profit on yours. Okay. I mean, I've got a 0 0.02, 0 0.06 sale rate for that. 0 0.06 for that. Let's try it. Let's let's put them on and see what they go for. So let's make a group up. Um, let's go for alchemy, and let's make a group and call it um, Drainic Potions. Oh, thank you, Danny, for another cheer of two fifty. It's fantastic. Thank you, your support is absolutely massive. Look at that, total of 3,750, that's huge. Just thank you, thank you ever so much. Oh, you off uh, Danny as well, didn't see that one. Okay, uh, well thank you ever so much. It's very kind of you, have a great evening. I probably won't be long myself out of uh, bed, but uh, thank you again. Um, and you're saying next to one stack of each of 20, yeah. Sell all Drainic below 25 gold region. Don't think it's worth selling them on the auction house. Okay. Um, love the mentality. Let's make a group up. Sheer brilliance. God, you're lazy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sebacool, thank you ever so much for the uh, cheer as well. That's amazing as well. Look at that. Gone up to. 620 as well your support is brilliant absolutely thank you thank you ever so much that's that's brilliant thank you i'm going to pop some uh, 
Uh, you're the lazy ones. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna try each of these and see if they sell. So we're gonna just pop them on. Um, these aren't massive amounts. Six gold, five gold, eight gold. Um, and we're gonna go for a, like Nix was saying, a. Um, Now you forgot where you was on your repost. <laughs> no worries. Helping calm down over hard days. You're helping me. Oh well, I'm glad. I'm glad it's mutual there, uh, Mr. Sebul. Mr. Sebekul. Um, okay, Commander Bond. Um, IRL cooking daily. Okay, com Commander Bond. Well, thanks ever so much for uh, stopping by. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I won't be too long myself. I've said that already. I know, but we're going to make this group first. So we're going to make a auctioning operation. What have we got here which we could use? Um, let's make a new one. And let's have a look. Um, do I gain on anything receiving bits? Um, what the currency use for? Yes, uh, Sparhawk. Bits is... Um, it's... A bit like um, the way Twitch does it, um, it's like a tip. Um, if you were, say, like a waiter and someone gives you a tip, because um, of the way it's done in America, it's taxed differently. So bits are a way of gaining sort of, I think it's like one cent per bit. So 100 bits is one dollar. But because it's done as a tip, and not as a donation, it's taxed slightly differently. Um, which means that when it comes to how much the streamer receives, it's, I think, slightly more. And so when Twitch adds up everything with all the subscriptions, the primes and the cheers, um, when they pay it out, you pay slightly less tax on the bits by comparison to the subs, is how I believe it to work. And then direct donations are, um, well, Twitch doesn't get involved in that at all. That's just direct through, like, PayPal. So it's got lots of different ways, really. Um, but none of it is necessary by any means. Um, just people being here in the chat and being sort of uh, hanging out or just listening in is more than, more than appreciated. It's going to go 48 hours, and we're going to do one of 20. There we go. No problem, Sparhawk. We won't go for partial stacks. Ah, you've got to remember to press Enter. 20, Enter. And one, Enter. There we go. And we'll change that down to 96%. And ooh, we could go with just, let's go with the default stuff for now and let's see what it comes out at. So if we go over to our auction house, so the prices we're looking at for a stack is um, 116 and 160, 112. So it's not an insignificant amount of gold if they did sell Let's try Drainic Potions, run a post scan. So we should have three, four different stacks. Four, four stacks of 20 coming up for this. Drainic Agility, Drainic Intellect, and there we go. See that should, no, right. there we go. Seven, five, five, and six. Undercutting competition. All right, let's post it. Oh, I haven't got my wheel macro actually. I just post it manually. There we go. Ah, uh, I missed that um, link from you there, Jack. Um, thing you do in the next stream, maybe this stream, is getting these transmutes. Pretty easy. Okay. 
Right, okay, so I'll keep a copy of that. Okay, thank you, Jack. I'm going to bookmark that. Let's just move this window down. Oh, that was your one from earlier, wasn't it? Uh, I've bookmarked that one already. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for that. There we go. Um, why am I playing Horde? Uh, okay, well, this was mainly done because of my my son was playing Horde, and um, he wanted to he wanted to play with me, and so I made a Horde character and I used my Legion boost on this character so that we could try some different high level stuff, and then I kind of parked the character for a long while, and now that I'm going to try and get as many professions as I can up, even though the you can't mix between Horde and Alliance, I thought it'd be fun to at least get a couple of professions on a Horde side character as well. Um, pretty nice money makers, or you could craft mounts and stuff with it. Okay, that's brilliant. Cheers, Jack. So yeah, there was... Um, there's no... I mean, I don't have a particular affinity. I mean, it's convenient for me to have everyone Alliance, um, but by doing a Horde one, I get to experience the Horde side of the storyline as well, which is also uh, quite appealing for me. Right, I'll probably leave Edge Awakening there for now. So I think we've got some good progress tonight. We've got some good... What did we do? We did... Um, we got the Transmute stuff sorted. We got some extra um, progression on the alchemy quests, and we also picked up some extra recipes, which is handy. Um, then Earthen's posted things, and Samadan's posted everything, so I think we're in a pretty good position. I think I'm probably going to call it a night there, as it's quite late. Um, oops. So I want to say a big, big thank you, everyone who's um, hung out tonight. It's been absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and you undercut me. No problem, Nix. That's all. That's all how it goes on the auction house. Right. So I. No, joking. <laughs> no worries. Um, my next stream, I'm thinking, will be Wednesday evening, same sort of time. I haven't put my schedule up fully yet. I'm still chatting it through with my family. I'll try and fit in some extra ones if I can. Um, it depends on how the um, the rest of the week goes. Um, but, yes, there's supposed to be some nice weather tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to spend some time with my family tomorrow, so really looking forward to that one. Um, well, as well as working as well, obviously. Um, so I think... Who have we got here? Now, I did pointy last night. So I'm thinking... Why don't we throw a host over to... Echo Wings, who's on... Let's have a look. Echo Wings has um, an amazing stream that does a lot of support for um, her doggos and pet rescue things. Sings, let's go fly a kite. For me. I would do, but I'm a bit hoarse from uh, all my talking tonight. Um, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so apologies if... Uh, I've been a bit nasally tonight. So thank you all again. Um, and I shall see you again probably Wednesday night. So let's... Uh, ah, no. Echo Wings is actually hosting someone else on. Okay. Okay, they must have just finished. Okay, let me find someone else. Sharkin's doing Warcraft 3. Which is always a good one, if you're into Warcraft 3. Or... Who else is on? Well, I think we'll do Pointy Gnome again. 
as um, everyone else is doing something different or in a different language. Okay, we'll, we'll send it over to pointy name, I think. Yeah, okay, we'll do pointy name. There we go. Right, sending love over to pointy name. Thank you, everyone, and I shall see you all very soon. Good night and farewell.